Good afternoon, And we are learning about Sifrei Torah. Very halacha l'maisa gemaras tonight. On my vizira, ask the the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh line down. On my vizira, ask the Rav Chista Kirav. The Rav Chista Shita goes like Rav. Rav Chista Shita. We shall see. Rav Chista actually held that uh, we saw last night that you can, if you have a letter which is possible, you can scrape away part of it. You don't even really have to scrape it away, but you can see it as if it's scraped away, and that'll count uh, as if uh, it's kosher. In other words, for example, if you have a hay, which is too long, so you scrape it away a little bit and make it shorter, so it doesn't look like a kuf, something like that, so you can scrape, okay? So, I saw his graph, Tarvein, Pligan, Al Shitasi, Da'ashion, Bar, Nadav, Achav. Welcome to sit in. They both argue on the Shita. Oh, okay. Uh, and the sheet of Ashen by Nadova Chavre, they they are they argue on Ashen by by Nadova. Amri, they said Ashi Dashi by Nadova Karbiyachan. That which Ashen by Nadova said it goes like Karbiyachan. Tani, we learned Irivas Osios. If you mix the letters, East Tani Tani Kosher. The those who say there remains Kosher. East Tani Tani Pasa. Those who say it becomes Pasa. Now, what does it mix the letter? We're going to see in a minute. Very cool. Uh, Rabbi Adav or Shem Hashem Rabbi Yehuda said, "Man amar kosher milamata." He said, "It's kosher, it's milamata." It's a beautiful pshat here. Many pshatim here are not so great, but the Ritbas gives a beautiful pshat. The Ritbas says the pshat is like this: If I make a nun, right, that's my nun, and then I and then I make a vav, right? So and the vav hits the nun, so that I can fix. Why can I fix that? Because I had a nun, and I had a vav, right. and then it just got too long, so I just scrape away this part here. That's okay. That's that's okay. It's actually the Ritbaz, the name of the Rashba. That's okay. That works. So if you got mixed on the bottom. Man mar posel. However, what's posel ki The case which is posel is milamalon. For example. Say I wrote a tough, and then I wrote next with a chaf, and the chaf scraped. That's no good. I can't fix that. Because what happens? How am I going to fix it? If I remove this, then what do I get? I get a dalit, right? So that's not a kosher letter. Even if I were to scrape on either side of this, let's say, let's say in fact what I did is I scraped away just o- uh, um, over here, right? And over here, right? And I, it's really what became a chaf. It looks exactly like a chaf. But that's also no good because that's what we call in Safros chak tochos. The, I didn't make the letter. The letter came to being on its own. You see that? In other words, for example, if, if let's say I had scribble scrabble like that, right? And I wide it out enough area in order to make a chves, let's make a Y, right? So that's not good in halacha. That's not making a letter. I didn't write a Y. I took away the sides, so I got a Y. But that's that's no good, okay? So that's not creating Y. I have to actually draw a Y. So here too, I didn't make a chaf, even if I leave it intact, even if I leave the, the this part intact, the chaf came into being on its own. That's no good. That's bad. Except it has nothing to do with mala or mata. It has to do with source of. Uh, uh, well, this is lamala because this lamata because it happened in the bottom. And lamala means somewhere in the middle. I understand, but uh, yeah. it's really the issue is not where if it's top, bottom, middle. It's really whether the the letter remains intact. Right. Or not. Well, where the letter right. Whether with actually to be more precise, whether there was a letter before the psul occurred. So you see that there was a nun and a vav before the letter of so occurred. You have to have kavana to write that exact letter. If you wrote yeah. a different letter and then erased it and became right. a second letter, then that's no good. That's no good, right. And that's exactly what, and, But here, even if you have kavana to make a chaf, but since the beginning with it was possible because it touched the tough, even though when you erase it afterwards, it still remains possible. Because you had kavana, but you didn't make a chaf, you made scribble scrabble. And then you took away part of it, so that's no good. Okay? Says more further, kigon, manamar pasal milamalon, 
Kashim Adam, my Pazma, I got him, so I was a male, so you say, Ravada Brah, Shimshim, Rayoga, Manam, or Kashim, Lamal, Manam, or Possum, Mato Gigon. Artsenu Tifartenu. That's when it's noon and above, that's the case I drew, which is kosher, right? Artsacha Tsricha, Tifartacha Tsricha, but Artsacha Tifartacha, they were not so sure, and that's the other case I draw you, the Tuff and the Cha. That's the case which some people pass because of the issue of Chak Tochos, because the letter came to being on its own. Rabbi Adab Rabbi Shimon Rabbi Shimon Rabbi Yochan said, well, what's meant to some things Rabbi Adab Rabbi Shimon said, Rabbi Yochan said, Lo Yamad Adam Yispah B'Mokon Gobo, a person should not stand and dive in, in a high place. My time, why? Very famous, more and probably too. Honor Bob and Sherry Puppy, my Makim Krasi Hashem from the depths I called you Hashem. There actually is a show in Baltimore that good as Israel, Baltimore, which is constructed with a depression where the Shtech Tibur stands. Is that the Heineman show? Yeah. Well, so is uh, yeah. Kids. So is the. No, there it's not depressed in that sense. It goes oh. down. Oh. Right. That's true. I guess it counts. But they actually they, they, they notched it in the floor. They made a notch in the floor, so it's actual depression. Yeah. I thought this refers to usually the, to the Shlech Tzibur rather than the Kohal. Oh, no, I'll tell you about the Shlech Tzibur. Oh, you're talking about the Shlech Tzibur. There's a notch in the floor for the Shlech Tzibur. Okay. Um, so my Rabbi Yadav Hashem Hashem Yerogon said, "Lo Yamar Adam Vispal Pritzur Shenat Stand Down Mi Tzarech Nekav When He Has To Go To The Bathroom." My time, or why? He called the cross. Okay, he's so prepared for your God, Israel. On Rabbi Simon, he touches that up. He skave focused. The cross. Okay, so if a guy's got to go to the bathroom, he doesn't have kavon. It's interesting. He's not focusing so much on the goof naki aspect, which the Bavli focuses on, but on the Kavana, if you have to, you gotta go, so you're not gonna have Kavana for your davening, right? Am Rabbi Lekzanji, Kshmor Raglucha Kasher Teilucha Beis Alukim. Watch your legs when you go to the house of God. Kshmor Atzcha Mina Tipi Mayotzi Ber Raglecha. Watch yourself from the urine which drips out between your legs. Hodat Am Rabbi Daki. So you see that the problem is mostly with urine. And the reason is because the person restrains himself when he has to urinate, it's dangerous, considered to be medically dif- d- dangerous. Mm-hmm. But if it's the, the def- to defecate, if you can bear it, he can bear it, so he can, uh, he doesn't have to go right away, he can take his time. Rabbi Yaakov Bar Avya, B'Shem Rabbi Yaakov said, Shmur Aglucha Kasher Telecho Beis Elokim, a different shot, Shmur Aglucha Kshetien, watch yourself, Kshetien, you call Beis Elokim, when you're going to be called to the house of God, Meaning, uh, uh, either when you, when you, um, when you go to be called to minion, or when you go to be called to the Yolam Ames, Shatay Nok Tarvanaki, they should be clean and pure. Amar Rabbi Ba, another drush of the same import, Yimakar Cha Baruch, your liturgy means your source should be blessed, but we darshan Yimikra Cha Lekever, when you call to the grave, you should be Baruch, you should be blessed. Amar Rabbi Yacha, Eitz Lelis Veis Lamus. Is a time to be born and a time to die. Ashri Adam Shashas Misaso Kishas Lidaso. Praise the Lord's presence is the time of his, uh, uh, his death, is like the time of his birth. Mashas Lidaso Naki, when he comes out, he's clean of sin. Avshim Mishas Mitaso Naki, so too when he comes out, when he dies, he should be clean as well. Okay, now, back to Safus. Rabbi Bob Hashem Rabbi Yudah Ahoy Osli Kechati Chalito. This is a. I, 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 this is a guy, you know, for somebody does nowadays, probably put in Mechair. He wrote a mezuzah like this. Like half a pancake, that's what it means. Okay, so he wrote, you see how the lines go? So the question is when he gets to the bottom three lines, that's what Gemara is going to discuss. So it says, Gemara, Bob Hashem Rabbi Yudah Ahoy Chalito, Shura Yona, the third line the third line from the bottom, she is Lamata Menestein, from which there are two letters below. Tzarsha Tevo Gimel Tevis, it's got to have, this is a mezuzah, okay? It's got to have three letters, or three words. What are the three words it's got to have? It's got to have Lavo Seichem, La Seis, Lochem. Now, the reason it's got to have three, la- three words, although unfortunately we don't say it, but it's partial because what we learned yesterday, it's because you need a minimum of nine letters on a line. So if you just said La Seis Lachem, there would only be actually it's six, but it's really seven because the space between there would only be seven letters, right? So therefore, we need La Seichem La Seis Lachem in order to get nine words on a, nine letters on the line, right? Then Hatem Tzois, uh, the middle letter, middle line can have Stein, because if you have 
Kimei HaShemayim over here, Kimei HaShemayim, that's actually ten letters. The letters themselves are nine, and there's the space in the middle which makes ten. So then even two letters, two words are, are enough. Tachtoina, uh, 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 yeah. Al Lord, it is not it's nine, but it's the last line, so it's okay. Because the last line can always end in the middle of a line. That's not uh, It can. And even say for Torah, it's like that. So the last thing in the middle, that's okay. Okay? At the a few halor, it's even halor, it's sufficient. Rabbi Tevi Shemachitza said, it's not clear he's talking about the mezuzah, but same idea. Hasli come in symphony. The mode is like this. You got the idea? It's on an a- and an angle. And it ends, of course, in the corner, right? I also mean symphony. I don't know what the derivation word symphony is. Isn't somewhere bubble kind of the term symphony? Symphony has many meanings. Symphony. Yeah, it can be a horn. It can be a horn of a tube. It's the tubes in the lung are called symphonos. Uh, symphony in 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 tubus means a, a moon. It has many different many meanings. I don't know what the uh, derivation is. It's obscure. Symphonos are the two uh, are the tubes and lungs. That's how Pierce and you're there. So in any event, it was also coming symphon sure al yon shesh to mata sh uh uh again the the third line from the bottom, shol shapes could be three letters, uh three words at the tachtona shtaim, the bottom the uh um line can be two. Ham tsai saying it then the middle one I don't know. I don't I, I don't know if it's talking about Shema. Because in Shema, Lichor, we just said it, it's okay, but maybe it's talking about genera, generally, where maybe it's only within Shema, maybe not anywhere else, or maybe in Shema, he wasn't sure, maybe he needs three words, not just two, 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 two words, even though they have nine letters, maybe he needs three words. He was not sure for some reason uh, about the middle middle line. I would tend to say that it's probably because he thinks maybe you require three words, not just the space of nine letters. Okay? Rabbi Yirmi Omar Law, Rabbi Zir B'Shem Rav Chista, Rabbi Yen and Rabbi Yosi Tarvein Armin, Rabbi Zir B'Shem Hashem Banadov Chavraya Omar, Rabbi Zir B'Shem Rav Chanano. Who? Imoy Sarat Yol Yotzimi Ben on the Coffee Puzzle. If I have a hole in the, if I if I wrote my ink and there's a hole in the paper, right? Here I wrote a dalit, let's say, and there's a hole in the paper which the ink goes through. It's puzzle. So how can I tell if it goes through or not? Kate said, "I said, look, I, I, I won't, I won't be graphic. When I lick the paper on the other side, and if I can taste the ink, then I know the ink went through, right? Look, I'll be Lushono. If you, you, uh, if you uh, lick it and it stands there, so you know that it didn't go through. Tavish mitas Hashem. What happens if you forgot to write the shame Hashem somewhere? East Tani Tani. Those learn Tavish Hashem. You can dangle it between the lines." He's tiny, tiny. Those are said. No, mo, it's better. Mochich is a chol. Right, the rates next word, which is chol. The kaitz of Hashem will write the shem Hashem. The tol is a chol. I put the the she, the chol, the the, mon, the mundane word, so to speak, between the lines. Rav Zir Rav Chanan of Hashem Rav said, "Aloch mishoy Rav Mochich is a chol." The other said, "You rates the next word, which is chol." The case of is a shame, and you write the shame Hashem. The toilet is a chol, and you put the chol word between the lines because it's not there. Here's the shame Hashem. Rabbi Zira, Rav Chaim, Hashem, Rav said, however, the three words together, mutter. So says my wife, love, nei shem shalosh tevis. Is it because the three words, the three words together, or nei sheish b'cholah because it's a phrase which is also a vachadikah word, a chol word. Nafak we've been ailed. Then what's the nafka mina between these two approaches? Let's say you forgot the words Kel Elokim Hashem. Kel Elokim Hashem is three in Tamar in Nei Shem Shol Shem. It's going to say because it's three letters. I mean, it's shol tables. The three letters, right? Three words. So you have three words, so you can dangle them. But in Tamar Nei Shem Shol Shem, you're going to say you have to forget a phrase in which there's a weekday uh, word. Are ain't bochol? There's no weekday word. La Hashem Tzricha. What if you have a prefix on the Shem Hashem. La Hashem Tzricha, Ba Hashem Tzricha, it's a question, does, does that count as one word or is only as two words, right? Because it has a prefix which is Chol, right? So it counts as a separate Chol component that if you have La Hashem Tigmalu, let's say, which is uh, then 
uh, will be, uh, which we're going to have in a minute, is that considered to be two words or three words, right? Is it two, two, word, two words because it says slash em and then tingle? Or is it three words because the lamed is also a whole component? We don't know. Rabbi Shul Yosheh B'Shem Rei the Rav Hanan, oh, by the way, it's a fascinating. I, I, I'm late, so I can't do it with you tonight. But Tzion Yushalayim, and here in the fact, it's a fascinating anti Lubavitcher Tzion Yushalayim. <laughs> yes. No time to go on, right? <laughs> the, there's a certain Zohar, a very controversial Zohar, with Lubavitchers used to support their quote unquote deification of the Rebbe. And he talks about it. Of course, he was way before this whole issue, but he actually speaks about it, gives a different shot in it. But, they have to write the hey below the leg of the lamid. Now this is an interesting thing. There, there's a part, the, the shortest word in Torah. You know what the shortest word in Torah is? Ha, with the hey. Just the letter hey. And it says, Ha la Shem. Uh, I'm just going to write it here. Ha la Shem, Tikmaluzos. Right? It's a pasuk in, uh, uh, it's a pasuk in uh, Hazinu. Right? Ha Shem la Shem, Tikmaluzos, Am the Volvo Chacham. Right? So the hay is a big hay. It's a big hay. It's a hay, but. What? No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It's a big hay, but it's a separate word, actually. Yeah. I almost thought it was. Right. You always thought it was part of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why you come to learn new things. Right? You too? Sure. Yeah. So, I don't think I don't know if it's in the Bible. I knew it was a separate word, works, but I don't I don't think I saw it in the Bible. I think it would be like just so fun. Here. Ha Lashem. See it's separate. See that? Can you see? No. Ha Lashem. How Hashem Tzilulzo. So, so the hay has got to be written below the level of the lamed, um, because um, uh, if you're going to write it big, as as uh, 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 as it's written here, uh, so then uh, that's going to look. For some reason, I'm not sure exactly why, but it's going to look like it's part of the the La Hashem. Right. So therefore, you have to write it lower down somehow, so it doesn't look at part of the lamin. In other words, to depress it, and that causes a distinction between it and the lamin next to it. And what's the how Hashem Tik Muzos says more ha. The way to read it is ha la Hashem Tik Muzos ha like this la Hashem Tik Muzos or. Exclamation! I'm not sure exactly how you translate the word "ha" oh, after all said and done. How's the article translated? Is it to Hashem right. to do this? Ha, so "ha" is like "is it"? Okay. So is it Hashem? So there. In any event, it's two separate words. Um, says, 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 remember that's the shortest word in Torah. Okay. Most Hebrew Hebrew words have to have at least two letters. Not that one. Says more for further. Mezuzah. Uh, the way you read it, finish it, the, the way you write a mezuzah, Itani Tane, Itani Psucha. Some say between the parshas you leave a parsha psucha. Parsha psucha means where you end one parsha and start the next parsha on the same line. See, that's a parsha psucha. Oh no, I'm sorry, psucha. Not the one. Psucha is where you end one one parsha and you start the next parsha on the next line. That's psucha. So some will say write make a psucha. The others will say. Uh, is tani tani is tuma. Some say make it stuma. Now logic is because in the Torah itself, Shema is susuma with the next parsha afterward, if I recall correctly. But isn't it also not just different lines? It has to do with a certain spacing of the number of letters. Nine letters. Nine letters. That's okay. psucha. But uh, in any event, so says the Gemara. Rashmu Barshus Bishmed Rav said, "A look, Bishmar Psucha. They have to be Psucha. Why? They should ain't them come because because they're not at all connected. Shema and Shema are not the same parsha. So you can't put them next to each other. It's not. It's not. They're not adjacent to the Torah itself." Says the Gemara, "Psucha Mirosha Susuma. If you have a, a something, you have a you have a, a parsha which goes like this. Here's line of text. Then it goes like this." Another line of text. In other words, you tapped. 
right? You tap. That's not psucha. Psucha has to be at the end of the line, not at the beginning of the line. Okay? Psucha mirosh is suma. Psucha misofa, it's open at the end line, like this case over here, that's psucha, right? Psucha mikan ukan, what if you, like, you know, like some people do when they end the paragraph, they go like that, right? The end of the paragraph, middle. Susuma, that's also Susuma. Tabishmi Pasukh. Now what happens if you forgot one Pasuk in Tari? Left it all Pasuk. Yesh Bush time Shlosha Shitim. So now you have to put it like in the side. Right here you have your column of actually use this for some holy purpose. Here you have your column of writing. And you forgot you didn't sponsor this one, right? Here you here you uh, have a column of writing. A nice page here. Yeah. They all have ads in the middle. Why do they all have ads in the middle? It makes it difficult to use for third purpose. Here you have a... You, oh, that's a good one. Here you have a, a, a column, and here you forgot in the middle of here three psukim, right? So you actually write them on the side. Actually, oh, it's not, it should be right here. So you forgot possible. So you write it on the side. Didn't we say yesterday that you can't do that in front of this is a safer term. We're back to safer term. Oh, back to safer term. Sorry, we went back. I didn't tell you, but we did. So here's your plus again. Yes, which time is show sheet? If you got two, if it's going to take two or three lines of masakno, somehow you could squeeze it in. However, the Kori Bon, you can read in it. Our ba, however, if you have to put in four lines, ain't no Kori Bon. Now, assuming the lines go here on the side. But it's possible that, that actually you skip four lines and you actually have to erase this and squeeze it in somehow. In any event, Wherever you're going to four, squeeze in the four lines, it's going to be too condensed and looks bad, and uh, and therefore you can't use the same guitar like that. Okay? Says more further. Tani, we learned. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Rabbi Zir B'Shem Rechanan said, Apikera came. This is also true about a rip. See, if I have a rip here, if one may rip this, I rip three lines, right? That's kosher. Rip the fourth line, it's possible. Okay? Now that's true even if it's not ripped here in the middle, but even if it's ripped over here. Same thing, it makes it possible here. Okay? Because it's still loaded if it's too hard. It's still over, right. Same, uh, uh, Rabbi Zir Shem Chan said, Af the Kara Kane, Tani, Save the Shish Bushtime Shosh to use Behold Daf the Daf. If there are two or three mistakes in each one of these columns, Misak, no, you can fix them, Kari Bon read it. Arba, if there are four mistakes, ain't no Kari Bon, you can't read it. I think because we're afraid the software was, was not a good software. We're afraid that, you know, this is a, uh, uh, yeah. No, sure, appreciate yes, software, Very good. Wow, what an alliteration. I am impressed. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Save so I didn't we learn you could have up to eighty five mistakes in a safer Torah. By the way, the average new safer Torah has two hundred mistakes. Really? Really? The average new The average new Torah has two hundred mistakes. Can you imagine that? No, that's a good new safer Torah. But it's possible. Okay. So, so most of the things are things that are done possible with the event. But the average one is 200 mistakes. Before that, the computer checks. It wasn't possible to, wasn't possible to catch most of these errors. Because it's a well, missing a vav here, an extra vav there. It's very hard to catch. I was shocked when I heard that. But two, 200 mistakes. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? You're starting out. You're starting out pretty well. Start, starting out with deficits, yes. Okay? So in any event, now imagine how many an old Saver Torah has. If a new Saver is 200... So imagine what an old Sefer Torah has. But I don't think I told, said in the context of this year, even though I probably mentioned it in the morning, but not in a long time. When I was uh, learning Shalai with Rebbe Falshman and Mir, with Rebbe Falshman Levitt, so he told me the main trade in Mir in Poland, the main profession was Safras, right, Sefer Torah. And the majority, the well, the majority of the Sofrim were Mechalei Shabbos. So Rebbe Fall, Fall's father, Rebbe Chaim, once asked one of the servants, says, where are you going to sell these Sefer Torah? We all know you're in Mechali Shabbos. I'm not going to buy Sefer Torah from you. Where are you selling these things? So he said, guess where? America. So in fact, you find a very high percentage of European Sefer Torah, rolled European Sefer Torah apostle. Because they came, because it was, a, it was an industry there. It wasn't, uh, you know, they were written by Mechali Shabbos. So that so that's a problem. So then I'm sure you have many more than 200 mistakes. Okay. Says the Gemara. 
Uh, so if the, with the mice, you get up to 85 mistakes. Comparison is by even so, it's not going to occur. So how come, uh, yeah, here you say three or four mistakes a column, up to three mistakes a column, there are far more than 85 mistakes in that case, right? Because there are hundreds and hundreds of columns in Sefer Torah. So it says, the Gemara, Kambi Sefer God, Kambi Sefer God, Kambi Sefer God. You get up to 85 mistakes per Sefer, right? In other words, per Chumash. But Sefer God, but the, the total of the, uh, of the, um, Entire Sefer Torah could be five times eighty-five, but whatever that is, uh, four hundred and thirty. Okay, yeah. so that's reasonable. You can fix it beyond that. If there are more mistakes than that, you can't fix it anymore, because then uh, it's a joke. Rav says Gemara, no, it's that we don't pass that way. Rav Zir B'Sher said, Motza Dav Echot Sholim. If in the Sefer Torah you find one column which is kosher, Matzus Kuli, you can say the rest of the Sefer, you can salvage it. Mao Sholim, what's with so as on what's a Sholim? Shame Bo in the next letter is a big typo. Shari Torah so it's take takes out. Shame Bo Toyos, is there a perfect column without any mistakes? Oh, Sholim, Shame Bo Arabo, it's a Sholim that doesn't have the four mistakes which possible, right? Because I'm looking for a column which is going to save the whole Sefer Torah. So it's the parameters of a regular column that are up to four mistakes, or special parameters you need to have no more than. Three mistakes and that no more no no mistakes sorry no mistakes at all in that comment so we obviously it's a type of question we're not going to answer but we're going to repeat it again. You have a rice of chanana. You have a torah torah of chanana. The korban of chanana rented. Armor leitz or chazed oy. The chanana said oy ve. Hard a rice of your torah three chutz solo needs salvation. Okay, solo needs salvation. The korban is carbonated brings a warm shot. It needs prayer. We got to pray for it. Okay, but so much of a daf echad. In the end, he found daf echad sholim one complete almud vitzel school, and that saved the whole thing. So I said, "Well, again, ma sholim shein bo toyus." The sholim means he has no mistakes. Oh, sholim shein bo our bo didn't have four mistakes, and the we that had questions not reconciled, not not answered. We'll just go to ten thirty, then we'll stop. We'll see how far we can go. We did one blot at least. Rabbi Zir Rachanam Shem Rav said tipura. The sewing of the Sefer Torah, Allah should be saying, no, you have to, have to use actual kosher gut to sew the Sefer Torah. So that's how Allah should be saying. That those others say titura, Allah should be saying, which is actually going on the shape of the bias of the tefillin. No, not the bias, but rather the sewing of the tefillin. You know, in the tefillin you have sewing, right? There's, yeah. there's the, it has to be perfectly square. So there are those who say that that's the word that's going on, Titura, Allah Hamash Misinai. Rabbi Yerushua and Rabbi Yitzhak said, Kishrei Tfilin, the not of Tfilin, Allah Hamash Misinai. Rabbi Yerushua and Rabbi Yerushua and Rabbi Yerushua, Rabbi Yerushua, the strap was Tfilin, broke. Shol Rai bought my memo. So I bought, he asked Rabbi Yerushua, can he fix it? On Malay, so he said, Ukshar Tom, he said, if you, you tie it, Ukshar Tom, I feel Ukshira Tamo, now, it's a big machlokus what that means. It was mekel her machmir. I feel like Shira Tamar might mean, if it's the kula, you say, as long as the knot is intact, it doesn't matter about the rest of the strap. Because the mice said the primary component of the tefillin is the knotting on top, right? The rest of it doesn't matter. So, therefore, go ahead and fix it. There's another mandamar, that's one way of interpreting the the kula. The way of interpreting the the chumar means, Shira Tamar means that the entire length of the strap must be kosher. And therefore, you cannot sew the strap if it breaks. You can't sew the strap. In other words, we don't, of course. If our film straps break, we just get new ones. But you can't. They were poor in the old days. Um, similarly, Rabbi Zira, Ipsi Gudur Tzuras, Rabbi Zira, his strap broke. Now, some learned this going on say for Torah, but it's very hard to do it, uh, to say that it's a is going on the strap is filmed. Shav Chul Rav Ketuna, Ketina Vishonle, they allowed him to, 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 to mend it. Obviously, Gmantan Yusuf snapped again. The Shonen Lane, they do, they allowed to it. The Lomi no fun, but that doesn't work out with the Pasuk. <laughs> Pasuk says, Kshira Tama, right, seems to hold that you cannot, again, it seems to be learning the Chumrah, that it has to be perfect, and this is not perfect to allow, certainly not to allow choice in a row. Right, Barbara, Braid, Rav Chia, Barbara, Rav Chia, Bishem, Rav Yoh, said, Halacha, the Halacha is Zeshu Tofer, getting back to the Savior Torah. When you sew it, you have to leave open space in the top and the bottom. In order that it shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't rip. In other words, if you, so they don't actually sew the Sefer Torah all the way to the edge of the cloth on either side. 
they sow in the middle and they leave open space on top and on bottom. And the reason is it says here, it's how Lachal Moshe Misinai, in order that it should rip, because if you use too much tension on top and bottom, it'll rip much easier. It seems that that's the case. So it says tomorrow, they hit him on the head, not literally. They said, in my locha, if it's a locha Moshe Misinai, why do you have to give a practical reason? If it's a practical reason, why need a locha Moshe Misinai? Okay, good question. One doesn't answer it. How long much we say? Consider continue. How long much we say? She will cost him the You have to write on animal hides, not on paper. Because the you have to write with ink. Massively, McCona, and you have to make lines in the same turn in order, guidelines in order to write straight. The Karchem is saying, now this is going back. It seems to Tefillin. The Tefillin, when you put the little parshas in the Tefillin uh, box, you you wrap a little of uh, hair, um, sheep hair, around them. I don't know if you ever noticed that when they open up the uh, tefillin. So inside your pouch is a wrap in a piece of paper, a piece of cloth, and then in a little hair around it. So here's the hair. It's a local motion. We say the tefillin matlis, and you also put in a little piece of parchment, as I said. Now, tefillin matlis has two interpretations here. One is that that's going in the parchment that goes around the cloth. And in fact, then it's a little bit out of order. And they talk about that because first we put on the little piece of parchment around the, the parches, and then we put the hair on top of it. But here it's vice versa. But there are those who said the toy matlis goes on the next line. The toy matlis vidovkin bedevik. And that's going, if you, your Sefer Torah has a hole in it, so you take a little piece of cloth, which is like a rag, like a patch, and you patch it with the glue. Okay? The toy matlis and you type it with gut. It's not really with, with cartilage from the animal. Ukshu taifer when you when you when you, uh, t- you sew it, yet taifer katefer as you sew it like uh, a regular seam made by my by a tailor. Vitarshe mishar mitshita lishita kimolo shita between each line seven there should be a line's worth single space. But table table between each word kimolo also should be a letter worth. Vein also between letter to letter koshu doesn't matter. Between each column of Sefer Torah, below God of Thumb, also Sova Daf Shavat Chilaso. If you made the, the 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 margin on the top of the page, the bottom of the margin page equivalent, that's possible. What do you have to do? Certainly, Tain Rav of Sefer, you have to make the margin at the top of the Sefer stay exposed, two exposed wide. When we look at below and the bottom, show the three exposed. It's interesting. The margin. It's not like we margin on our computers an inch all around. Has to be actually two heads both on top and three heads both on bottom. The margin on the bottom should be more than the margin on top. Otherwise, it is possible. Okay? Rabbi Omer, Betoyro Milamal and Sholosh. No, it's we have to do more. Three on top, Milamata Tefach and an entire entire Tefach, four heads both on the bottom. Betoyro Shemishai, Ben Sefer, the Sefer, Trinity, the Sefer, the Sefer, you have to leave Kemole Arbashitim, four lines. Of the Navi Shoshtein of Treasor and the Navi of Treasor, which are which are twelve minor books, shows only three between them. The Torah she Gomer Bem Tzadaf, and you have to uh, stop in the middle of the page. Umaskel Bem Tzadaf, so begin the middle of the page. In other words, the, the, you can never end the sefer at the end of a column. Every column has to have continuity. The beginning of the column, one sefer, the end of the column, another sefer can't end the end of the column, except except. Uvenavi, uh, that's only in Chumash. Uvenavi, Goyim Rebbe Sefer Masche Barosho. In the Navi, you can continue and say Shmuel at the end of one column and begin Lachim in the next column. Except Uvenavi, Uvenavi, shall you base also in another Navi transfer? So that has to be continuity because it's all like one long Sefer, and therefore it has to be in the middle of the page. Eino Simiyuria, you do not make one of the. Uh, um, what, what's the word? Urea is a uh, no, but here it's like a sheet in the Sefer Torah. You know, each sheet which holds the text. A folio is that what it's called? Yeah. You can't make the folio in the Sefer Torah. P'chus Mishol stopping less than three columns. Less than Shmona not more than eight columns. That's only the beginning of the Sefer Torah until the very end. Off of itself. But the end of the Sefer Torah, you know, whatever is left is left, so you can even have a few kosher, even one count. Now, in the cloth, he means how much you peel. The Sefer Torah can theoretically be written on, on hide, which is not peeled, but we actually peel the hide into, into layers, which are our parchment. So, the amount of peeling which has to be done, there's no shear. They didn't tell you how much that 
hide in which you write a Sefer Torah has to be worked in order to be able to work on it, right? However, Tzorich Sheya Kosev Al Agvil if it's if it's parchment which is not which is not separated to sheets at all, you have to write bemokamas here where the hair was. Would you remove the hair and you write where the hair was because that's the better side. For a cloth, if it's a if it's however a cloth, in other words, it's already separated. So actually, the, the cloth comes like this, right? And you separate it in two. So tzarechitov, I'm welcome the chush. So you write on the place which is like copper smooth, and that's in the middle. Okay. So if you left it intact. One high thickness of hide, so you write where the hair was, which is on the outside. If you said it's split in half, they write on the inside between where the two parchments were. Okay? Uh, Shina, if you did it differently, puzzle. It's no good. None of this is in the Bible, as far as I recall. You can't write half of it on a full hide and half of it on a parchment. You can write half of it on the, the, the hide of a bay matora. Or Chayator and half it on a Chayator. I think they're actually a Sivator, ancient Sivator written on deerskins. Yeah, I don't remember I've seen it, but I've seen it in museums. Venice. I wasn't in Venice. I didn't yeah, see it in Venice. Reddish, tinge. reddish. Maybe I heard it from you. I didn't actually you see it. it. You're telling me about it? Okay. Uh, he's hot tonight. We have to start later at night. All right, so <laughs> says the Lord. Uh, a kosid el ha orbe v'tayri koli right on kosher animals. My time, why? Lamanti at Torah Hashem beficha says Torah of God should be in your mouth. We mash out the nice and beautiful that which you put in your mouth. I about time that we learn kosid now. God be or nevelos and trefus. You can write on nevelos and trefus. Says Mar yes, but mina that nice and beficha has to be the type of you can put in your mouth, even though it's not slaughtered. In fact, most tefillin say we turn all that is not written on animals which were slaughtered in slaughterhouses. Kedin, but they are written, of course, all on. Animals, kosher, uh, kosher derived products. Okay, vosid amu lasefer lasefer besofo. You write, make a a a a, 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 a an eitz chaim for the for a regular sefer at its end. L'toyer amikanakan. Here's the source for toyer that you make it on both sides. I don't remember it in the Bavli anywhere. It says your ayin ba but I have no recollection about Bavli that you have to have two atzei chaim in the sefer Torah, right? Oh, really? um, so that's why another sefer, other than Tyro, you 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 wrap the wine to its beginning. Those of you who have Megillah Sester, you know that that's the way it's done, right? Uh, way a Megillah Sester is done. Yeah. The the Sfari uh, No, they have two Atzechayim also. Yeah, just inside the case. Yeah. But Torah and the Torah goes in the middle. I was sure and Rabbi Zir, but Shemir Chiyabe said, "Nah, people stay real. You can even lee as it doesn't have to be precise in the middle. As long as you have two sheets on one side, it can be all the rest of the sheets can be on the other side. It can be that imbalanced." Rabbi Shmuel and Shilas B'Shem Rabbi Kahn says even further, "Ovav Mokom Atefer." As long as between the two Atzei Chaim, you have what? Three reels. No, between the two Atzei Chaim, you have. Uh, when you do glila, you make sure the stitching is in the middle. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. well, that's what it says here. It's it says in Shami. Okay, it's just get on base. Yahweh Shem Rishon Menachman said, Sefer She'en Lo Mapa. You have no uh, no uh, mantle for the Sefer Torah, what we call it, you know, an outside. Hofcha Al Aksav, you write it, put it upside down, Kaloshi is Baze Aksav, in order that the Aksav the, the should not be embarrassed by being right side up. I will stop here. Mansbach will come back to uh, Monday after. Mansbach, I told you, told you Monday. somewhere in McGill says.